This is the Syracuse Stampede. Body. A new junior hockey team in central New York. The team, which started last fall, hopes to fill a void in the area. In the past, in, in central New York, there's been a big push to try to find those guys to move on to the pro level. We're looking at more of the college guys. Uh, so we're, we're definitely dealing with the guys that are D3 college players and trying to help them move on the best we can. The Stampede are made up of players as young as 15 and as old as 19. They've pulled players from around the United States and boast a roster with five Swedish players. Alex Heizenga, one of the team's leading defensemen, says joining the Stampede gave him skills he couldn't find in his home state of Michigan. Speed's a big thing with me. I'm a big kid, slow feet sometimes, so they helped with that. I just, I've matured a lot since being here. But he's not the only one that's matured on the ice since joining the Stampede. Swedish brothers Aki and Vili Virtanen moved to central New York, excited for a fresh start. We felt we, we want to be in something, like something new. And like, we, we have always talked about come over to USA or Canada and play hockey. And this, is, was, this was our best chance to yeah. come over here, yeah. The team isn't just pushing players to the college ranks, it's winning games. Expected to go 500, they won 35 games this season and clinched the division title. Despite the success, they still feel like they have something to prove. Everyone still doubts us, so we're still the underdogs. We're in first place, but we're still the underdogs. So going in, that gives us a little bit of an edge and trying to not only win for ourselves, but to win to show all the other people around the area that we're, we're a team and we're here to stay. Heizenga says he dreams of a championship banner hanging in the ring. Winning a championship would be great. Hanging that banner up in central New York would be great since everybody doubted us coming into this. Syracuse enters the playoffs this weekend, looking to end an already outstanding season on a championship note. Reporting from Baldwinsville, A.J. Mandariccio, NCC News.